would love for teachers and parents to weigh in on this Am I the A-Hole from Reddit. It says, Am I the A-Hole for buying personalized stationery for my daughter so it can't be redistributed in class? Mm. So I didn't realize the Cassie's face already. Wait till you hear, <laughs> wait, wait, you gotta, you gotta hear the whole story. Um, so yeah, apparently when you, you, like I remember when I was in school, we bought school supplies and some of the stuff we kept and then other things like, you know, the tissue box for the class or whatever, there was bulk things that you bought that you gave to the teacher and then the teacher would hand out and use throughout the school year, right? So in this instance, by the way, phone number is one 855 burcho 855-237-8746. My little girl, Mia, female who's nine years old, has started a new school recently. I got a list of supplies that the teacher required plus extras, like extra packs of crowns, etc. You know the deal. While I don't necessarily agree with this, it's not a heel I'm willing to die on, so I got everything on the list. However, I also got my child her own supplies. Now, the list didn't say to not label them. Mia's very particular on what type of stationery she likes. I've heard horror stories of kid stuff being redistributed and them ending up with crappy supplies. So I sat down with Mia and we got her personalized binders, notebooks, and pencils with her name on Etsy. It's all part of the item, so... Um, can't be removed and given to another child. Like I said, as requested, I bought extra binders, etc. It turns out that I was right to do so. When Mia got home, she brought a passive aggressive note from the teacher about Mia's supplies. Apparently, she tried to gather all supplies and have kids pick another one. She requested that I switch Mia's supplies to generic ones, which I'm refusing to do. The teacher now requested that I stop by to have a chat regarding Mia's supplies. I posted in a local Facebook group and parents are divided. So I needed another opinion before I go meet with me as teacher. Am I the a-hole for buying my child personalized stationery so it cannot be taken away from her? I don't think that's an a-hole move at all. I see nothing wrong with it. Yeah, this is, yeah, I'm taking care of my family. Yeah, what's the problem? I can see both sides. So no, because she bought the extra supplies as requested. So mm -hmm. she's not taking away from another kid. But at the same time, you are making the teacher's life a little bit more difficult if the idea was to gather everything up. But then again, I understand you not wanting your kid to have like, if you can provide your child with a certain standard of materials that you like as a family, I understand you wanting to do that. And so I think because she bought the extra supplies, no, she's not an a-hole, but I do think the teacher's probably overworked and overwhelmed, and she needs to have some extra grace when dealing with teach. Well, I know it's going to make the teacher's life difficult, but it's also her own fault because the rule is stupid. Like, if everybody needs four binders for the whole year, then that's usually on the parents to purchase your kids four binders. So what I can't understand is like, okay, if everybody needs four binders and that's on the list for everyone to buy four mm -hmm. binders, why do we have to gather up all of them and then switch it up? That doesn't make sense to me. I'll tell you why. It's because there are kids who will come to class without the binders who can't buy the binders. And so what happens is you probably need two or three binders but you bring four and then you gather up all the materials and you redistribute so those kids who can't afford the school supplies mm -hmm. don't feel left out or singled out or like they're getting charity. Everyone's treated equally regardless of income level. I feel for those kids, that's for sure. Uh, but you also don't know the economics of the people that are buying their own supplies as well. Like, can they afford an extra one? Yeah. So if, I guess if... If you can, you should probably get something customized for your kid and then maybe throw extra in there. But either way, I, I don't see anything making mm -hmm. wrong with making sure that your kid has the best you can give them. I, I understand the the thought behind that. And I think the sentiment is, is great because I feel for those kids. I mean, that I can imagine walking into a class and not having the supplies you need, but you're essentially asking for the other families to purchase more than they have to, which I don't think is fair either. It seems like a majority of the people on this particular um, Reddit thread are saying she's not the a-hole. Nah, I don't think so either. Nah. Yeah, you know what? Instead of um, buying extra school supplies, let's everyone write to our congressman and have them fund schools so they can buy their own supplies. Yeah, good Yay! luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. The Burt Show.